Welcome back today. Johan writes, hey guys, do you think it's a bad practice for studios like Marvel and WB to go to events like Comic-Con and D23 to show off footage to the attendees, but make other fans who couldn't attend wait months? I mean, they don't have to show us the exact trailer shown at the event. Just give us other fans like a short teaser so we don't feel left out. Or just give us an announcement of when they are going to release the trailer. Don't just leave us with nothing. If they have footage to show to that audience, why can't everyone else see it? What are your guys' opinions on this? Um, you know, this kind of question comes up, and it, it, almost an exact same similar type of question came up after Comic-Con. And it's it's relevant to bring it up again since we just came out of D23, and they showed a whole bunch of D23, that which they did not go out then and release to the public. I think it is good. I do. I think it is good. This four-year-old mentality that all of us seem to have, myself included, we're all little four-year-old babies, all of us. We're just like, well, he got to have it. Why can't I? I mean, <laughs> we seem to have that this mentality about it where I believe there is something very cool about having special events be special. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing where Star Wars, a Star Wars celebration, they had a trailer that they were going to release to everybody anyway. And all they decided is we're going to show it to our people who are here at Celebration. You get to see it first. Before anybody else could see it first, 10 minutes later, the whole world's going to see it. That's fine. But that was a trailer they had made, and they were going to release to everybody anyway. When you go, look at something like D23 and look at some of the stuff we saw there, mm -hmm. like Kevin Feige, they, they haven't even started shooting Doctor Strange yet. But as Kevin Feige said, we're at D23. All you, Some of you guys came from all over the world to come to this event. We wanted to have something for you. And because this is a special event, you guys came here. We're going to share something special. And they put together, using still art imagery with music, this kind of weird little trailer thing, which was great. And they didn't put that out of the world. And I'm not surprised they didn't put that out of the world because that's not the first impression they want the rest of the world to have of Doctor Strange quite yet. So... I'm of the mentality that I am totally cool, and not just cool with it, I approve of it, that that sometimes there are some things, a full trailer is different if you're going to release to everybody, but some people have this mentality that, oh, Kevin Feige made this trailer of Doctor Strange out of still images and music, and he was going to show it to the world, but then decided just to show it to the people of D23. No, it was never something that was going to be showed to the world, so we're not missing out on anything. It was never going to be given to us, but... For a special occasion at a special event, he decided to show a finite small amount of people. I have no problem with that. I think that's great. And uh, and I hope they continue on with that practice. Anyway, Shep, you you sometimes you think that way a little bit. You think other ways a little bit. How do you approach that question well, now? I think it's split it's split for me. I think the thing that makes these uh, events so special is the chance to see a preview or advanced footage or stills or artwork like from Doctor Strange. And I don't think it's I don't think it has to be shared with the rest of the world. Since when did the rest of the world just because you have an internet connection? Do oh, well, I'm I'm supposed to see that too. And I'm that's, entitled, right? It's an entitlement thing, which is like, no, all these people took time out of their day to go all the way to some event, or they so a lot of people flew in from out of state or you know from another country to go to this event specifically for this thing, this convention, whatever it is. And that's something special is for those people. And I don't have any problem, even though I'm incredibly jealous and want to kill these guys because <laughs> they got to see concept art from Doctor Strange that I have to wait. Just and like all the new Star Wars trailer. Oh, wait. Uh, anyway. I know. See, there's disappointment for everybody. But for me, I'm like, yeah, I didn't get to see that. I got them to describe it to me as best they could. And that's why I just have to wait, just like every other person around the entire planet. I'm totally cool with that. But that's why I'm like, well, next time I'm going to go to that convention or, you know, it makes it makes it special. It makes you like, I want to I want to be there and see that and experience that, too. And that's that's what makes these things special. And I don't I don't think that's a bad thing. Now, when people uh, steal footage from, you know, like uh, like Comic-Con and then slap it online, I also don't have a problem seeing that stuff. I'm not necessarily like, oh, I f it's horrible that it's getting ripped off. I'm against people stealing films outright and throwing them on YouTube, wholesale slaughter to stealing from creators and filmmakers and studios. I think that's completely wrong. But if you're like, you know, you have a weird iPhone and you're like shaky cam and you got a few minutes of Deadpool footage and it's like, I'll take those scraps because I wasn't there. I couldn't get into that. There was no way in hell I was ever going to get into that theater. I'm like, I, you know, even if I was there, I couldn't get into that theater. So, I, you know, 
know, everyone else got to see it pristine with amazing, perfect sound. I saw a weird little scrap of it before it gets pulled off the Internet. I'm OK with that, too. Is it is that right? No, but I'll take what I can get when it's that kind of scrimpy, scrappy stuff. I don't feel good about like stealing anything. I don't do that. But if it is like one of those preview screenings, I'm cool that somebody had the nuts to do it. Mm -hmm. If it was my film and I saw someone filming, it, I'd grab that <laughs> iPhone and crack it. I'd give them the chance You'd to shove it the down stuff. their throat. <laughs> I, would, what you would do. Yeah, I know <laughs> I would give them the chance, though, before a severe beating to at least erase the footage. But, you know, but hey, look. Like I said, I think conventions are really special. It's important to not, not just remember, like all the people who took the time to go to these conventions, they're seeing this amazing footage. Don't be jealous. Oh, well, actually be jealous of them. You should be because it's something really special. But, you know, take the time to become part of this event. That's the best. Don't way I can most of it. the really, really big stuff get leaked most of the time. Like not, huge, not from huge not from D twenty three. It did at Comic Con because the security just wasn't as tight. But at D twenty three, they were walking around and they really were were strict on you can't have any recording devices out. And so yeah. nobody, to my knowledge, has seen a leaked Anything. Jungle Book trailer or a leaked Civil War trailer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at least it's it's a lot. Right? You know, one of the things I, I this is a little off topic, but this is a great excuse for me to throw out this quote because I, I love this quote. Hearing this story about people saying why they get to see it, we didn't blah, blah blah. It reminds me of the genius of Louis C.K. I know you're a big mm -hmm. fan mm -hmm. of Louis C.K. Um, I, the, one of the best, most awesome quotes, there was a skit he did with a little girl playing his daughter. And the little girl was like, he has more in his bowl than I do. I, that's not fair. I want it too. And Louis C.K., this great quote, I just had to pull it up. He said this to his daughter. You don't look into your neighbor's bowl to see if you have as much as them. You only look into your neighbor's bowl to make sure they have enough. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Aww. Louis C.K., just had to throw that out there. Anyway, your thoughts on this whole issue? Well, first of all, I think it's total BS that Warner Brothers showed their executives Batman v Superman the movie <laughs> and then let the, the rest of us, of us see it. Come on, man. We're waiting for this, too. I think you can have you can put a show up online and you can get all the YouTube hits and all the tweets and retweets and likes you want, but there's nothing that will create a bigger buzz than showing it in front of a hall full of people and having them go crazy for it. And just people hearing about, oh, did you hear this footage was shown here and people went wild for it. You should show it eventually to everybody else a month later, two months later, whenever you want to release it to the public, but you earned getting there. It's not just flying there and paying for the badge to go to whatever convention. Sometimes you have to sleep in line overnight just to get in to see the footage. So you have earned more than anybody else. I Look, life is competitive, okay? And there's perks to not having to wait in line all night and having to pay for a flight and going to a convention and just sitting back and seeing what the reaction was on Twitter and then anticipating when you get to see it. It'd be great if studios said, oh, here is where you can see the Civil War footage for everybody else, but they don't do that yet, and it makes it it makes you want to go to the next D23, doesn't it? So that's how yeah. commerce works. I mean, it's like, oh, man, I really I don't want to be left out in the cold again next year, so i got to pay to see this.